Back here at home, the Chicago chapter of Black Lives Matter facing fierce backlash this morning online for this post on X, posting a silhouette of a parachuter with I stand with Palestine written beneath this, writing, quote, that is all, that is it. The post referencing the Hamas terrorists who glided into Israel and carried out the shock attack on Israel. There were a number of cartoons appearing to blame Israel for these attacks. Joe Concha, your thoughts? Black Lives Matter should be absolutely ashamed. Their national group should be condemning this. The fact that they put up that sick illustration of a paraglider as we saw at that music festival. That's how they entered that music festival where young people were just celebrating and then they were mowed down. They were unarmed. And, and the fact that an American organization is celebrating this somehow, I can't even put into words. But, but even sick. the legacy media, Joe, I mean, you cover the media. Yeah. You have for so many years. I mean, you know, you watch MSNBC and CNN. You've, they've got people on their desk attacking Israel. Mm -hmm. right. And blaming Israel. I mean, this was an unprovoked attack on Israel. Correct. And I saw one Palestinian activist on with uh, Fareed Zakaria over the weekend, and he said on our airwaves, national television, that the uh, Hamas terrorists were only arresting military people, that no one was getting executed. And this is being said on American oh airwaves, and he wasn't even challenged and Fareed, on it. it Fareed doesn't say anything. No, no, he didn't yeah, say anything. Yeah, no, go ahead, Charlie. Didn't. No, and I mean, also, too, I mean, it's not just BLM uh, that, that is, this, this, and I saw this yesterday. I think I actually retweeted it because it's so disgusting. But it's also, I mean, look at the Democratic Socialists of America. Look at their statements. Look at their rallies. Look at the attacks. I mean, they're actually attacking American Jews and, and getting into fights and screaming matches and defending this. And I, it, by the way, you know who's a card carrying member of the Democratic Socialists of America? AOC, mm -hmm. you know, that entire squad, they need to sit down and shut up. Uh, Enough. Cheryl, you mentioned Harvard earlier. I want to talk, to talk about this for a minute because Harvard professor emeritus Larry Summers going after the school for what he says is a late and disappointing response to a letter written by over 30 student groups. The letter was released Saturday affirming pro-Palestinian support and said Israel was, quote, entirely responsible for this violence. Larry Summers is speaking out. At least two student groups have pulled their names from the letter. Harvard president Claudine Gay put out a statement that says this. No student group speaks for Harvard or its leadership, Cheryl. Yep, there is a great Wall Street Journal op-ed this morning, the title, Harvard Shrugs at Jew Hatred. It is written by a Jewish student at Harvard who is not surprised whatsoever by the statement by these groups. And what I think should happen now, every single student that signed on to this, uh, that is part of, uh, every one of them, let's publish their names and make sure they never work on Wall Street, in banking, in medicine, I don't care what. They, they have no, these are, I'm sorry, a bunch of progressive, spoiled, privileged white kids who have nothing better to do but grab onto a cause. I'm gonna grab onto pa the Palestinians because that's what I believe in. And they have no clue what they're talking about and no even sense of history. From their ivory tower at Harvard. Well, you know, we, we, we saw this in this country with BLM, where, you know, kids, white kids in suburbia who'd been cooped up suddenly were marching on behalf of BLM because oh, yeah. it gave them something righteous to defend. That is the unfortunate uh, flip side of the victimization argument. You know, if you portray yourself as a victim, then you tend to attract others who support you. Well, you know what? Victimization is a choice. We can either choose to see ourselves as victims or we can choose to act proactively to better our lives. Well, what kind and of condemnation we... have we seen? What kind of condemnation have we seen from the Democrats? Tr quite to, all of quite to the contrary, yeah. because the squad is once again uh, standing, uh, standing behind the Palestinians, as if to say that um, the uh, the Israelis kept them down in some sort of apartheid state kind of configuration, not letting them out of the Gaza Strip. That's the that's their argument, and I couldn't disagree. With that. Your thought. I interrupted you. My apologies. No, no, no. Th th that is a complete thought. To somehow equate Israel to what South Africa did under the apartheid regime is the craziest, most misguided, uh, confused, and contorted, convoluted thing. 
I think I have ever heard come out of the Middle Cheryl, East. This is where the lack of education and frankly their age is really showing. This yes. is when somebody like AOC, her age shows. Young and she stupid. Huh? Young and stupid and privileged and 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 that and again that's what we've seen at Harvard. Good for Larry Summers by yeah, the way. I have yeah. to say. I agree with you. Yeah. I mean and he's really the one that was the first to point out yeah. the hypocrisy by the university and they really still I don't think in my opinion I know they put out a statement. I still don't think Harvard has done enough uh, to right this wrong that has happened on their right. campus. And it's it's, it's also I mean, it's Stanford. It's at UCLA. Yeah. I mean, we're state Yale. I mean, what is going on at these and Ivy League universities? Schools? Yes. And remember, I got kids. You know, my, my daughter's birthday today. She she turned ten. I got kids now, ten and eight years old. They'll be going to college in a couple of years. Scratch off Harvard. Scratch off anything in the Northeast, basically, yeah. for us at this point, because. Before taxes, I got to earn five hundred thousand dollars to send my kid to a place like Harvard, and they're going to be exposed to an ecosystem like that. Right? No thanks. Unbelievable. Not happening. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but where Clemson. where does this come yeah. from? You would think that in the university you want diversity of think. It's anything but at all of these universities. Yeah, I, I have this one stat at the commencement speeches uh, that were, were that were given last spring. Ninety-seven out of a hundred of the top-ranked schools in the country. Uh, had liberals speaking at their commencements. Mm -hmm. Only three conservatives were invited. So to Maria's uh, thought, uh, uh, perspective here, it, they always talk about diversity all the time, except when it comes to diversity of thought. Riley Conservative Gaines thought just, is just not allowed. Riley Gaines just got attacked again yesterday yeah. at That's an right. event. And, and by the way, I mean, yeah, Penn Maria. State. Oh, forgive me, Sorry, Cheryl. No, go ahead. No, no. Putting, putting men, uh, you know, <laughs> biological right. men in, in a competition with women, and, and she's getting attacked. She's going to get attacked yeah. for that. Maria, you asked the question, where does this come from? Yeah. I go back to Barack Obama in the apology tour where he, yep. he kept saying that America needs to apologize. For what? Yeah. We don't need to apologize. We're not perfect. But we move forward and we do it together. This is the greatest country on earth. And, and the notion that we need to apologize or we need to rewrite history, I think is, A, that's wrong, and B, I think it opened this, this door to, um, uh, to uh, questioning, rewriting, apologizing, mm -hmm. and um, trying to uh, play victim cards around the world. And I think what we're seeing here is, 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 is people somehow mistaking Israeli sovereignty for uh, victimization of Palestine. I, That's I'm, not what it is. I'm worried about the United States. I mean, the world is in a very dark place. I mean, look, Russia, you know, and, and its death and destruction on Ukraine, China and its aggression. We don't know when China will go into Taiwan. We're expecting it. And now this. Right. And hundreds of people entering this country from special special interest aliens is exactly the way Bill Malusian put it, who's one of the best reporters out there, by yep. the way. More than 600 from Iran, more than 160 from Lebanon, uh, 1,613 right. from Pakistan, 500 from Syria. You, you go on and on. We don't know why these people are here or, or why they they're trying to come here. Nor, nor, where nor they do are. we know the Chinese nationals, which Mark Green, the head of Homeland Security, said, yes, they are directed by Xi Jinping. They're all military-aged men, mm -hmm. and they will be saboteurs. I mean, I, I was struck by his assessment of the Chinese nationals coming on, on the, into the border. And the answer is to build 20 miles of wall by Joe Biden. That's right. That's the answer. All it's right. Pathetic. We've got a lot more coming up.